Hello everyone and welcome back to Games Night. Today me and Ben are going to play Star Wars Legion. It's the new miniatures game for Star Wars from yeah. Fantasy Flight. So it's got sort of things that are similar to um, Armada and other sort of X-Wing miniatures. Yeah. Uh, but also similar to 40k in a sense. Yeah, it's think a, of it as like skirmish. Star Wars Warhammer. Yeah. And so we're going to just play our first game with the starter set. We're going to show you what's in the starter set and we're just going to see if we can see if we can learn the game so with you guys. We can figure this out. And so yeah, let's let's get started. I'm going to play the Empire. Nice. Um, I've got some models here. I'm actually going to use my phone to record get some nice close-ups. What's going on? and just show you the models that are in the set. So Ben's painted all of these. Obviously I have a couple of nice speeder bikes, mm -hmm. okay? They look really nice. I've got two squads of stormtroopers, mm -hmm. and one of them's got a rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. um, one of them has got a long rifle, DLT-19. Mm -hmm. So the prop for that in the original Star Wars movie was an old World War II MG42, like a German machine gun. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, and they just stuck, bolted on some like sci-fi bits. And then we it. got Darth Vader. Yeah. He's pretty badass. He's got some abilities as well. We'll go into all of this in a minute. But yeah, these these all look, Ben, you've done a nice job painting these. They, I think they're a pretty a pretty simple paint job, but they look very nice. Thank Do you, you. want to show off? Yeah, they're not quite finished. I wanted to make them look got. like all battered and weather beaten in the desert. So I need to get some brown stains on them. Yeah, that's a really nice idea. So here we go, we've got Luke Skywalker, uh, blue lightsaber, young, young idealistic Luke. We've got um, two squads of rebel troopers, uh, both with like this, um, this Gatling cannon in there. Um, and both with a little blue head alien, Sky. Oh, so just like a random, random, random rebel random alien. Random rebel alien. Um, and then lastly, we've got what is it called? The ATRT, which is like this sort of like little walker transport. Thing. Yeah, a little rebel walker. Yeah. yeah, it's nice that they've got those in their in their arsenal. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think it's from the um, it's from the prequels. Yeah. Clone troopers used to use them. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I think we'll just start playing the game, Let's get and into hopefully it. you guys can learn along. So the, the nice thing is they made it totally beginner friendly. Right. You don't need any special, uh, you don't need dice, tape measures, or anything. Everything you need is in the box. So okay. we've got these measuring sticks. So is this our deployment zone? Yeah. This is how far we can. So set is up. it normally six inches? But because we're playing on a four foot this table, this table's bigger than it should be. We're actually going to be allowing an extra extra um, six, inches. six inches. So you can deploy up to up to twelve. Do we deploy in turn or do we roll it off? Um, we're going to go in turn, but let's just get it going. Let's do. Shall we do a, a very quick roll off? Okay. Just there you go. There's a there's a dice. I'll roll the same dice because they've got these. So these <laughs> use these special dice. I got nothing. I got a one, so I'll, I will let you start. So you can that makes you can sense. deploy first. So you're going to deploy a unit of rebels. Put some rebels around here. Right, in right front of this there. box. I'm going to deploy a unit of stormtroopers behind this these crates here. So it's three foot by three foot the mm -hmm. the playing surface you need. So we've actually cut this. This is this yeah. is the line here. So we're not going to so go what, beyond. What they this. say is once you've got a larger force, yeah, you should play on a, on a six by three. Okay. Um, but these are really small forces. This is like about four hundred points, and they recommend you play about eight hundred points. You got it for a full game. This is my first unit. My second unit. Um, I'm going to try going over here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sort of mirror you, I think, if you're going to take this area. Now, are there, are there things that we need to deploy on the map, like victory conditions or victory points to uh, fight they, over? There, there are some, but I figured we'd keep it simple and just figure out how to move around and shoot. And then, if we play any more games, then we'll worry about more complicated stuff. Okay, good idea. So it's just going to be a, 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 a fight. Do we have a first blood? Is there going to be anything like that? Or a point for killing your leader? Uh, yeah, well, let's do um, one point for killing a unit, two points for killing a character. Okay, I'm going to put my, my speeder bikes. Mm -hmm. um, now, are these separate units or are these a single They're unit? They're a squadron of two. Okay, so I'll put them here. Um, right in the middle, so they can get, they could go either way. You don't know which way they're going to go. And then lastly, I've got my walker. Um, now he's only one, you see. Yeah, he's he's pretty tough though. Is he? Especially compared to the bikes. The bikes are a little, a little bit fragile. He's going to go over here. Okay. Now, does cover matter in this game? Yeah. It, okay, it's important to be in cover. Well, it so helps. if you go behind these boxes, for example, it'd be harder to hit you. Okay. Well, in cool. In that case, we'll deploy Darth Vader over here in this squad on the oh, right. Brave, in intimidating Dark Lord of the Sith wants to hide behind a box. <laughs> 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 look, <laughs> look Ben, I'm a, uh, this is a strategic miniatures game. <laughs> Darth Vader has made some terrible plays in his time. So <laughs> right. this is Darth Vader and his squad here. There's a the little leader there and the gunner. They're hiding behind this box. Over cool. on the other side of the table, Ben's got a squad there, his walker, Luke, just on his own, mm. holding what looks like a, a, 
broomstick or something. <laughs> yeah, it uh, needs a bit more work on, on the paint your job. your squad of guys and back over the other side board. So basically what we really kind of have here is a very much middle piece of terrain. Yeah, splitting the board into two. And then two corridors to either side. You um, can climb up on that though if you, if you want to try. Okay, it. well I didn't even know you could do that. So Ben, mm. how do we begin? Uh, first thing we do is we select an order card okay. from our hand of command cards. Let me look at these. So these order cards are Basically, they've got little pips up in the top left corner, mm -hmm. and we each pick one secretly. Secretly, and we reveal them simultaneously. And then they're revealed. So I'm going to pick the one that I've actually got on the top here, which is a special one because it's I've got Darth. So I'm going to pick that one. Now, you can only use each of these once. Yes. So Ben, what have you yeah. picked? I've picked standing orders. Okay, I've picked new ways to motivate them. Oh. So I get to activate two troopers before you get to do anything. Uh, well, not quite. Okay. Uh, what this means is, so this card lets you order two troopers. So you can put your trooper tokens on your troopers like that. So each of these, each of your units in your um, in your army will come with a specific token mm -hmm. that refers to them. And normally, what will happen is on your turn, mm -hmm. you will activate a unit based on randomness. So you will shuffle the four up, and you'll pick one off the top, and that one will activate. Yeah. So you each take turns so activating units. So your orders let you. Pick your most important unit for that turn and say, I will choose when to activate this rather than waiting for it to come out of the random pile. Yeah. But I've just realized this Stormtrooper unit is too far away from Darth Vader to receive orders from him. Ah! So he can order himself. He himself is a trooper. Trooper basically means infantryman. Okay. So the orders you, you got down is uh, Vader orders himself and his troopers. Okay. So those guys are good to go. Your other two units' tokens go into the random pile to be selected at random later. I've chosen standing orders, which only lets me order one unit. Now it's a four token. Four, four, four point token, which means mm. that, it, and it actually, according to the rules on it, it cycles back into your deck. Yeah, so this is the, the dud card, effectively. It does nothing cool, it's, it's quite terrible, but it, you play it when you don't want to waste one of your really good cards. Like I've just done. Well, we'll see if it's a waste, I don't know. Yeah. Well, well none of mine felt like they were worth playing. I, I was thinking, wait really close. move up quick, fire some heavy weapons before you get a chance to respond, and start, start chipping away at your your capacity to shoot back. That makes sense. But maybe I've judged the range wrong, we'll find out. I'm gonna order my walker for my one unit and the rest go into the random pile. Okay, you've got it. Right then, because you have less pips than I did, you've, you've got a better order, and um, you get to go first if you want to. I see, so activating units. I get to act one, activate one unit. You do one can, unit, then so, I do a unit, then you do a unit. So where's my, so I've got a pile here of two random tokens still, mm -hmm. and so I can either pick one off the random pile, which yep. will either be these guys or the speed bike, yep. or I can actually pick either of these guys to activate. Exactly. So I'm gonna activate and my, my Stormtroopers. Your troopers. new ways to motivate them card is another rule, and says when a friendly non-Darth Vader trooper, with basically when you activate those guys, they're the only guys who qualify, um, you may suffer a wound and take a free action. Right. So what that means is Vader can literally choke one of the stormtroopers to death, and then all the others go, oh my god, okay, we better work harder. Yeah. When a unit activates, it normally gets two or activations, uh, two orders. Yeah. What am I talking about? Actions. Now it can take three, if you want to choke a stormtrooper. So to begin with, I can move my, so I can get, you get two actions with each unit, mm -hmm. and you can move and shoot, as it is traditional, or you can yep. move and move. There's, there's five different things you can do. You can move. You can move. You can shoot. You can um, aim. Okay. You can evade or dodge. Right. Um, and you can rest. Okay. Uh, movement is the only one of those actions you can do more than once. Okay. So you can't shoot twice, but you could aim and then shoot. So the range of the Stormtrooper's weapons I have mm -hmm. here, this blaster rifle, this is on the card, is one to three, mm -hmm. but for the rocket launcher, it is two to four. Yeah. And that is actually a different movement uh, tile. So this, yeah. is the, this is the shooting stick. So for everything, these are the movement sticks. Yeah. Movement's done with those sticks. Everything else is measured with the, the other stick. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to move two. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to move my leader first, and then everyone else just follows. Exactly. So, so this, is, this is effectively one bit of movement. I can move everyone up around him. Yeah, and um, basically it can end up with some troopers moving further than you would think they can do. Because uh, the rule is just basically the leader moves and then everyone just teleports near the leader. Yeah, let's get him, let's get him nicely into cover. There we mm -hmm. go. Okay. And then for my second action, I would like to see if I'm in range to shoot you. So this stick is four range, I guess. Yes. Uh, so my stormtroopers can shoot three range, so they're not actually in range of your guys yet. So I think oh, what right. I might do is I might move them again. Oh, there's another action you can take, which yeah. is um, it's called standby. Okay. And it means you guys basically go on um, overwatch. Okay. And then you can shoot me as I walk into range. Right. 
But you might not walk into range. Yeah. You might just stay there. Mm. Now you've got a heavy weapon on that thing as well. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm feeling aggressive, Ben. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling like I'm gonna just just charge forward on this flank. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move again. I'm gonna move again with my with my commander. I'm mm-hmm. gonna go I'm gonna go this way. Okay, around here. Cool. Cool. And we'll, we'll just move our guys up. Hopefully, some of them will be in within range of you. If this is, yeah, okay, yeah, pretty so much. As long as they're all closer to me than the leader, you'll be fine. Okay, cool. Well, this is what we're doing. We're moving up as 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 much as we can around our commander without with gunner cool. in the back. So you just move their face down token with them. Yep. So now we know that unit's done this turn. They can now, have another go. They should get a free action though, right? Yeah. If Vader wants to choke one to death. They can take an extra action. I will choke one to death. Because okay. that's a Vaderish thing to do. <laughs> it is, isn't it? And they're going to get to shoot you first. All right, so this guy, sorry, you're not behaving in, in a way befitting like, of but, a Imperial Stormtrooper. But Lord Stormtrooper. Vader, it's not impossible. It's impossible. They're too, they're too far away. <laughs> that's not, that's not Any true. Any more objections, Commander? <laughs> so he's, he's gone, yeah. right? And then we're going to get to shoot, and we're going to shoot these, these Rebel Troopers. So okay. as it says on the, on the card, um, each of these stormtroopers gets to roll a white attack dice. They sure do. Um, but the guy at the back, he can shoot with either weapon under a white attack dice, or he's his, got the his, machine his gun. machine gun. Just so his machine gun is two red dice. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm going to be rolling three whites, four whites, four whites and, and two, red. two reds. But um, we are. Uh, but we. But because this is the start set, you only get. We don't have enough dice. You only get a couple of dice. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to have to roll another white dice. But I'll, if I if I get a miss, I'll, yeah, I'm I'll sure one of them will miss. Okay, so we rolled two hits, and so that's called that. These symbols are hits. That's pretty self-explanatory. This symbol is a surge. Okay. So depending on the unit type, sometimes that'll be a hit, and sometimes that won't be. So for a, just a regular old stormtrooper, surges are converted to hits. It says nice. here on the card. So that's above where the movement is. So there you go, That's basically this converts to a hit, and then you have scored three, three, hits. three hits. So I grab my defense dice. So you guys get to roll defense dice in so response. So I roll one for every time you hit me. Rebel troopers, they aren't very tough. They roll these uh, white defense dice, which are not very good. So here we go. Bam! Ooh, that was lucky. Two, two saves. Blocks. And one gets killed. So... So, uh... Blah. Well, that's not, a great, that's not a great set of rolls, but it's okay. I got very lucky, I think. There's only, there's, there's only one shield on that dice. Yeah, there's there one is. shield, one surge. I've just rolled like two sixes on three dice. Well, you've done well, Ben. You've, you've done pretty, well. It's pretty lucky. That's, that's a lot of defense right there. So now, that's the end of my first go. So it's your go to activate. What would you like to activate then? Cool. All right, I'm going um, to take a random token off my pile because the only one I've got out is my walker and I don't want to do the walker yet. Go for it. So random token is... It's Luke! Right. That's not ideal, I have to admit. <laughs> I was hoping to get one of my troopers. Actually, because then you can pick which troop you want and you can just activate that one exactly. and return fire. There's nothing Luke can really do at this point other than like, risk getting shot. So okay. Luke, is, 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 his card is, is very much melee focused. He's, yeah, he has got a pistol, he can shoot, um, but he's only range two, I think, yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run him, I'm just gonna run him up. So I'm gonna take one action, to move up. I'm going to use his, um, I've taken the card Force Reflexes, it's a force power. Okay. Um, no, I'm not actually. That would be silly to use that right now. I will use it later. Um, and I'm going to run over here. There he goes. Man, he's getting into cover around he's that running, corner. He's running around. So he's going to dive into attack next turn. So he's double moved. Yep, he's moved twice. So that's his turn done. So his token goes down there. We know that he's done. Okay, so it's my go. Mm-hmm. I can either pick up one off the top, mm-hmm. or I can activate Vader. I'm going to activate Vader, and I'm going to move him. He only gets a movement one, but he's, so he's pretty slow. Um, and we're going to doomsday on. forwards. <laughs> now we can, we have got an ability on him, which is saber throw, but I don't yeah. think you're in range for that. But saber throw is a free action. Is it? Okay, yeah. is that because it has the... Oh no, has it got the little broken... No, I think it isn't a free action. It's oh, actually a, a, a required action. It's a full action. action. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm just going to move him again. I'm going to move him again mm-hmm. behind the boxes and get him into get him into some nice cover. Bam. 
Now, what did you mention about getting on top of cover and stuff? So, um, boxes are pretty easy to climb over. They just um, reduce your speed to one if you're going over a, like a barricade or a box. Okay. So for Vader, they don't slow them down at all. Right. Uh, for Stormtroopers, they slow them down a bit. So I should probably have reduced these guys' speed from moving over that. Yeah, but you had enough to like, get around. I didn't think okay. that was a problem. The other thing is that you can climb up on stuff. So, like for example, if, you, if Luke wanted to climb up here, he could spend his whole turn just doing that. Okay. Could, like, double action. Or you can try and like do a risky climb where you are, it only costs you one action, you can jump up and then start running, um, but you might hurt yourself <laughs> doing that, unless you have special climbing gear. Right. Um, which none of us do. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so that's my go. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, over to you, Ben. Okay. Oh, I forgot, I totally forgot something. You, when you shot my rebel troopers, you suppressed them. Right. They take a suppression token. Okay. Um, and what that means is, um, when you take as many suppression tokens as your bravery, yep. you become suppressed. Uh, these guys here, because they're only bravery one, that one suppression token means they are suppressed. Okay. And when I activate them, they only get to do one thing. Okay. Uh, but when you do activate a unit, you have a chance to like remove suppression tokens. You can try and make like a like leadership save, I suppose you could call it. So they may they may get over it. Okay. And uh, they may not. Let's find out actually. Let's do it. So when you activate, I'm going to take a random token. It's going to be a rebel trooper, and I'll come back to them later. Let's try these guys. Okay. I'm just going to move these guys up to these these boxes. Yep. Uh, which they can easily do. Uh, close enough. They're going to get into cover behind those boxes. There we go. And they're going to uh, evade. They're going to take this token and they're going to like keep their heads down. Okay. Um, which will make them even harder to hit. Okay. For this turn. That is a good move. Mm -hmm. Over to me. Okay, so I get a token off the top. Yeah. It is the speeder bikes. So I can decide what I want to do with these guys now. now before you decide on what their actions are going to be, yeah. speeder bikes have to make a speed three move. Wow. They can't stop. Zooming. So I need to now decide whether I'm going to go left or right. Yeah. I think I'm going to go left. Okay, so, so what you do is you slot that tool into the slot. Oh, right. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I tilt it? Anything? Or yeah, does it have you can to turn be straight? That, no, you can turn that as much as you like. Okay, so it, it does depend on which way they're going, if they were going initially. Yeah. So they, do they each move individually? Uh, no, you just move the leader. And then the squad member just like teleports wherever you want next time. Okay. So that's his compulsory move. And now he's now he can take his two actions. Right. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna zip up, zip forward. I'm just gonna keep zipping forwards, I think. We're gonna zip. Oh, you, you still have to do it on the leader, yeah. Oops. Yeah, we'll, we'll is this the leader here? Yeah. How do you tell? Is he the one, uh, the one with the pistol? Coolly. Yeah. Um, can we tell us can we point any way or do we uh, have no, to? If you put him back where he was, if you want to change the way he's facing, you'll you need have to, to like I turn to the stick. It. Yeah. Okay. Does he have a firing arc or can he, he shoot does, behind yeah. him? If you look on the base, oh, he's I got see. those. Um, he has got a firing lines. Arc. So he, his main gun shoots to the front. Yeah. And then he can shoot his pistol any like 360. Okay. Obviously I'll, his main I'll, gun's I'll, better. I'll zoom in around here. Oh, this is quite fun. Okay, so I'll zoom these these two. Mm -hmm. And his, his buddy has to face the same direction as him. Okay. Got it. They're in formation. They're in formation. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I so, like that. so they, they can free both move? see your 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 squad. They can. Yeah. So they're obviously in cover and they've got an evade. But we're going to shoot them and see what happens. Sure. Well, we haven't had to. Well, we have had a shot. But this will be this will be a heavier firepower. So these guys have got one of each color weapon. So one black, mm. one red, and one white each. Each. Um, so that's that's a nice bit of, of firepower. Um, so do you want to roll them all together? Have you got two of each? I will roll them all together. Bam. Boom, 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 boom. So that is two bursts and two hits. Okay, so the surges for the speeder bikes count as hits. They do count as hits, yeah. Um, so so that gives four you hits. Five? Oh yeah, no, that wasn't. That wasn't one, sorry. Yeah, no, so five four, hits. Four hits. Four hits on my boys. So uh, because I'm in cover, I ignore one of those hits. Okay. It just hits a box. Right, straight um, away. Straight away. Bam. And uh, what I'll also do is I'll spend my dodge token. To also Which will also a absorb a hit. Okay. Um, so there, I've been hit twice now. Okay. Um, you get to roll two defense dice, I guess. And um, the rebel troopers are nimble. Right. That's their one special rule the rebel troopers have. Um, after defending, if you spend a dodge token, gain a dodge token. Wow. So they're, they're good at hunkering down. So they get one back, so if they get shot at again by a different unit... They can still dodge. Nice. And then the two that hit them... One burst. One surge. So the surge for the rebel troopers is a shield. Okay, good. So one lives and one dies. Fantastic. Um, they'll take a suppression token like that. And this guy over here, blah, he's dead. They go on the end down. So that's it. You've lost two two troopers so far this this game. Yeah. It's, haven't even shot you back yet. But now you're going to get to. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. What am I going to do? It's either these boys or the walker. I think I need to 
I need to get your speeder bikes before they cause me more problems. Um, I'm going to do my walker. Do it. Um, I'm going to walk him. Uh, like that, I think. Slot that in. And he goes clang, 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 clang. Like that. So what? So basically what you've done with your orders is quite different to what I did. I thought mm. it allows me to get, get them out there quick. But what you've done is you've allowed them to I've stay until it. last. Depends on what's going on. Like late, yeah, later yeah, yeah. on, we're going to want to go first. But in the first turn, going last. It's pretty good. Okay. And he's going to shoot his big Gatling gun at those uh, bikey boys. I'm terrified. Which is five black dice. Okay. Um, so I've only got three, so I'll have some more. Um, surges for the walkers are hit, are crits actually. Okay. So that's, that's two crits, and then two more dice. That surge is also a crit, so I've scored a total of three crits. Now what are crits as opposed to hits? Crits, uh, they're not as good as they sound, <laughs> unfortunately. So what happens is, if, you, um, if you're in cover, um, and you, make, you can make hits go away with cover, right? Right. Um, you can't make crits go away. Crits okay. kind of ignore cover. Um, also, if you're shooting at like an armoured thing, like a big ATST walker, or a, a land speeder or something, you can only hurt it with crits. Right. Because the armour shrugs off any lighter hit. I see. So if you're fighting like a, a big armoured unit mm -hmm. or something that has armour, which none of my stuff has armour. None of your stuff has armour. Okay. Um, the, this walker counts as armoured. It does have so armour. So you need crits so to So you need crits to actually even damage So anti-tank weapons work by giving a special rule called impact. Yep. Um, which means, depending on the value of their impact, they might have like a rule that says impact three. Yep. And that would mean you can turn three of your hits to crits. Okay. To, to show how good it is at breaking armour. Right, that's good to know. So you need to make three saves. Okay. Uh, oh, but your speeder bikes have a special rule, cover one. They do have cover one. When Can defending we... against the range attack, improve your cover by one. So they're so fast and hard to hit that one of my, one of my shots just missed. So I get to roll two defence dice. Yep. What are my defence dice? Red one, um, white, white ones. ones. Yep. Here we go, you ready? Bam. One surge. Surge is counting as a... Counts as a shield, shield. for those guys. So I take one hit. One hit? Or one crit, I suppose. Uh, which... There you go. So speeder bikes have got three wounds each. Okay. And you've taken one wound. So one damage on a speeder bike. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Not too bad. That's not too bad. I thought that could have been way worse. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. All right, over to me. To me. To me, to you. So my last action is going to be this rebel troop. Um, I'm going to just, just I think, I could move them forward, but if I move my stormtroopers, mm -hmm. they can't shoot their rocket launcher. Yeah. And the rocket launcher is pretty good. It's three black dice. So I feel like, you know, firing that thing is pretty impactful. It also has a range of four. I think I definitely need to try and get it in range of your walker. Yeah, it's one of the um, only weapons you've got that can really hurt the walker. But obviously, currently, it's not in range, so, and it's, it's probably in range of your troopers, but I'm feeling like slamming the, the big bazooka into that cover is not gonna be super impactful. Hmm, I've not got too many choices here. I think though, I should break cover and probably move these guys So your somewhere. options are, you can take either the movement one stick and move anywhere you want, yeah. or you can take the movement two stick as long as you don't move over the boxes. And you right. Can walk around the boxes. So. That's true. Oh, I see, you can, you can tilt it to move around it. Yeah, ah, so speed fun. two moving around might be quicker than speed one over the top. I think it probably yeah. is. Do I want to break cover and charge you? I think I, I probably do. I think I'm, oh, I mean, the speeder bikes are already breaking cover, so let's, um, let's just get out of there in the open, shall we? And we'll, we'll just do one move to here, and then probably, we'll probably do another move, actually. I'm, I'm thinking we might have to move again. Just to really get out there. Um, just to make sure that we are able to be hit. Or maybe we'll, we'll, maybe we'll just defend ourselves. Now, how long does the defense token last? Uh, at the end of the turn, it goes, um, away. Well, it goes away. And so for the, for the purposes of this turn, there's no point in me getting a defense token. No, because I'm not going to attack you. I might as well move again then, because why not? And I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get, get around this, this way. So we'll, we'll head this way, which, which, is, which is, again, just blindly into no cover. But you are getting quite close to outflanking my cover. But I'm, I want to get around the back of you. I one more like. move and, and then you can shoot past my cover, I think. So that is actually it. That is the end of my go. Uh, You've got one more unit to I've act. I've got my last unit. So we'll do that now. Okay, so I'm going to activate um, these guys in yep. my last unit. Um, when a unit that has suppression activates, you roll one dice per token. And if you're on a symbol, the leader's given them like a rousing enough speech for them to get over their, their, their worries. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. No, it really wasn't very inspiring today. So they only get one action. So now they only get one action because they are suppressed by the, uh, 
the stormtroopers fire. Okay. They are going to, they're gonna move up. Luke can't do this on his own. They're gonna follow up and try to try to stay, stay near Luke. Okay, they're just, just going, just gonna be, be straight. What? Straight up. So when I m had my action, I could only use it on these stormtroopers instead of the other ones on the side of the field. How far, how close does a commander have to be to trigger the action? Uh, yeah, so um, if they're within range three, you okay. can issue orders. Cool. So Vader's a bit, bit far away from those guys. Right, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So now it's time to submit new orders. Uh, well, it's the end phase now. All oh, right. So first of all, pick up all your, all your order tokens. Ah. Uh, they're done. And every unit on the board will now lose one suppression token. Okay, right, nice. So to really get a unit panicked, you have to pour on a fair bit of firepower. I see, okay. So you have to hit them a few times. Now, did these guys get a suppression token as they, well? They did, but they've now lost it. But it's it. gone, okay. Okay, so going into turn two, we both picked our orders. Yep. What have you got, Ben? I've gone for the Return of the Jedi. What is that? So it's a special Luke Skywalker order. Oh yeah. Um, so I get to order Luke and two units, and then when Luke Skywalker is issued the order, order, he, he gains a dodge. dodge token. And then when Luke Skywalker activates, each friendly trooper at range one to three may remove a suppression token. Oh my god. So what I'm worried about now is my troopers are about to be flanked and shot at, but then when Luke activates, he'll go, don't worry, the Jedi are here, and then they'll all regain their spirits. You should be worried. I'm playing implacable Darth oh. Vader. At the end of Darth Vader's first activation, he misses for one wound to shuffle his order token back into the pool, so he gets t to act twice, potentially. Ow. And also, because I rolled, I you've, got, I got you've a lower chosen number. A, a higher priority. You've got priority one, I've got priority three. I get to to, to have him have a priority So two, you're going to take the first turn. I, I get, will. I get Luke and both. So the, the, the way these orders have panned out is you get to go first, but I get complete control over when my troops activate. Yes. Because I've got these three have all got their tokens down, and there's only one token left, so it's not even a random one. You can choose to do them at opportune times. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see how this pans out. Well, let me let me take my first go with Darth Vader then. <laughs> right, you're just gonna go straight in. Well, he might as well. I think that's how that's how he should act, right? Yeah. 